Well, it's been about a month since my first El Toro retrack update. So without further ado, here's an update of the progress they've made since April. And we're gonna go check out Nitro and Batman because they're now open. All this and more coming up next on PA and J Thrills. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I see the train there in the station. I don't really see it. They're probably still out over there, but um, I do kind of hear music over there, so they might be working today. There's still uh, taping markers around on some of these supports, so. Hmm. Coming down here right by Rolling Thunder, uh, yeah, it is, uh, the bottom of the drop is looking good, um, yeah. So I can't really see those trains, but yeah, they might be back to the station, but I had a hard time seeing them in the station, so God knows where they are. Alright, let's go check out those blue trains on Nitro. So as some of you know, Nitro recently just got new trains and they are looking amazing. As well as the station got a fresh new look. But yeah, I love those blue trains. This this station, I'll tell you, needed a refresher. Now, if they could just clean up some of this rust that's on the side, that would be great. But looking a lot more cleaner. Chair verified. So, uh, yeah, there's two trains that have been painted. Oh, actually three. Two trains today, so uh, looking clear. great. Skate clean, all clear. Experience the great adventure in Nitro. Next group of riders, be prepared for this article. Do it this year, leave loose glasses and hats on the side. So, as you can see, it's a lot more cleaner now, looking great. Nitro, um, still not as smooth as Candemonium, but it is one of the older b and Hypers. Um, so don't expect Candemonium or Mako, but it still is giving pretty decent airtime. Um, it's one of the taller ones at around 230 feet, 80 miles an hour. So yeah, it is pretty good. Batman has also now opened up. Let's go have a ride.
So it looks like they're displaying all these banners from the old logo to the new logo to the Hurricane Harbor logo to the uh, Wild Safari logo as well as the uh, the pretty old Six Legs logo. I think that was from uh, 2000, the 2000s era and then the original Great Adventure logo. Pretty cool. And here we are back a couple hours later and I could see from King to Ka uh, the trains are still um, over there. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, we might see testing, but uh, who knows? Also, I did also see the runaway mine train cars uh, over in that area by the final turnaround. So yeah, uh, the uh, Frontier Adventures section of the park is supposed to open on Memorial Day. So um, finally we'll be able to get to ride Medusa and runaway mine train again, but, and then the sawmill log flume. I mean, kind of is a little hot today here at Great Adventure. So, I mean, it would feel nice, but unfortunately, Saw Mill and Congo River Rapids are not open. And they are starting to uh, dismantle the parachute. But like I said in my first visit for Screen Break, um, Twister is also rumored to be taken out. And if they take out that and parachute, that could open up a nice area of space. Um, I mean, you, you would probably have to take out the animal exhibits or just move them over to um, more like in between uh, King Ka and El Toro, uh, where like the owl exhibits are uh, during wild walkways. Um, but yeah, I was saying like something like uh, West Coast Racers. I think honestly, they should either call it Rolling Thunder with a yellow and green side or Batman and Robin the Chiller. Bring, it, bring back Batman and Robin the Chiller. Actually, now that I think about it, Batman and Rob the Chiller, Batman and Robin the Chiller would actually be a great name for this area because you have Superman, Green Lantern, if they call this Batman Robin the Chiller, like, you know, that would tie this kind of whole DC land together. Not saying that it will happen, but this is just some things I would like to see them bring back for the 50th anniversary since it's such a big event. And I know the CEO is kind of like, eh, he's been investing more in families. He did say, though, that 2024 for Grey Adventure because it's the 50th anniversary will be big. So I'm going to take his word for it. I, I know he's not really the most reliable guy. He, you know, he says things and then he doesn't deliver on them, but we shall see. Tell you guys that was an amazing ride king to cod that was actually my first dual ride i had with zoom and jaro we launched we went up and right as we were going up zoom and jaro was dropping so i really want to get to experience like a ride where we crest the top of the hill and then zoom and jaro drops but any dual ride with uh you know zoom and jaro is amazing but anyway, guys, that's going to do it from this week's El Toro Retrack update. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, a lot of great stuff going on here at Six Flags Great Adventure as they get ready for the summer season. Uh, hopefully, um, Memorial Day uh, Frontier Adventures will be opening back up. So I'm excited to get to experience Medusa again. And Runway Mine Train, the ejector it. Death Hill on it is just so good. Um, but anyway, guys, 
I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.